Hi guys, welcome to today's video. It's just gonna be a very simple look. It's gonna be a makeup video and I'm just gonna do like a very sweet girl uh, Nancy Wheeler inspired look. If you watch Stranger Things, then you would know who she is. She's a character from Stranger Things. And this video is actually in collaboration with Netflix Malaysia in conjunction with the release of Stranger Things Season 3 on Netflix and also with Good Vibes tomorrow if you're watching this on the day it is uploaded. Then Good Vibes Festival is tomorrow! And I hope that you guys will enjoy yourself if you're going. And since Stranger Things Season 3 is very 80s and stuff, if you guys are gonna dress up in any like 80s fashion style, tag me on Instagram, tag Netflix Malaysia as well in your Insta stories and stuff. I would love to see your outfit. So for today's look, I'm just doing a very simple one. I'm gonna brighten up the room a bit right now. This is for the intro, I'm just gonna make it dark. And I think I'm just gonna do a very like simple, clean look with really long lashes and like very rosy cheeks. So very sweet, innocent girl vibe, if you get what I mean. I looked for the most like sweet girl outfit I could find. So let's start. And also there's a giveaway, so stay tuned. Okay, so I've primed my face. I'm using this from Sisley. And this is just because I trust this the most. I think if you're gonna go for like a festival or something like an event or something that's really important to you and you just wanna have fun, don't try new makeup just cause... Or just test it out before you go just in case it's not the best for you or whatever. So at least you can kind of prepare yourself or like change to a different product that will suit you better. So if you don't look your best, you won't feel your best and you won't have as much fun as you can. So trust me on this, okay? Let's begin the makeup and end the lecture. I'm gonna use my trusty Hourglass foundation. I'm gonna use a very dewy one. This gives a very radiant finish, so I like that about it. As I said, this video is inspired by Nancy Wheeler. She has really big eyes. She has such beautiful eyes and lashes and everything, so I don't think I will ever come close to looking like her, but we're just gonna do the best we can and make me look sweet. Okay, while I do my makeup, I'm also gonna do a quiz on BuzzFeed that I found on which character from Stranger Things I am. Choose an 80s movie. E.T., Terminator, Ghostbusters, Back to the Future, The Goonies, and Indiana Jones. I would choose Back to the Future, or I would, I would wanna choose E.T. for the Reese's, but it would only be because of the Reese's, so I'll just choose Back to the Future. I'm just doing a bit of concealer. Oops. Yeah, I need it on my nose anyway, but they're gonna Just a bit of tart shape tape under my eyes. And I'm gonna take a Fenty brush. Pick a superpower. This, without a doubt, is gonna be teleportation because I live so far away from my family. And I just wanna be able, 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 able and I just wanna be able to come back whenever I want to. And I can go anywhere in the world. Debt. I'm not gonna use too much powder. I'm just gonna set my eyes with the next to nothing from MAC Cosmetics. I feel like Nancy Wheeler is very like effortless. So let's try to be that. I feel like everything is going back to what was trendy once. So like hair clips and hoops. Hoops have been back for a while, but like hair clips are like a new thing at least the past year, I think. Hair accessories. Like, I got some myself. So I got a bunch. Brush through my brows. I'm gonna use my trusty Brow Wiz from Anastasia. I won't talk just cause I will mess it up if I do, so let's go. I'm doing it very simple by the way, I'm just like lining it and then feathering it out. Just doing as little as I can. Do you guys like my attempt at a Stranger Things backdrop? How many of you actually watch the third season of Stranger Things or like if you guys have watched any at all let me know and if you have watched the third season what do you think about it? did it reach your expectations? I'm, you know what? I'm good with that I'm good with those brows I think <laughs> as I fixed it I mean I just came in the room and sprayed some perfume and it smells so good I guess who's gonna use it today? I really wanted to use like a brown for my eyes. Do you guys think I can just use an eyebrow product as an eyeliner? I've never used this one before, so I'm just gonna use it as an eyeliner first. No! No! It's fine. Nothing's gonna go. So I have the color Chameleon. If you guys have just like a brown um, eyeliner, 
then just use a brown eyeliner, it'll be much easier. If you don't, then you can just use it, a brown eyeshadow and just like use it on your lower lash line. It'll look really nice and like a lot more natural than a black. This one isn't the best to use obviously as an eyeliner because it's not meant to be used as an eyeliner. I can't see anything. Let's try this one. This is like a champagne color. Okay, so this one is shimmery. This one's from Bobbi Brown. It's also like an eyeshadow crayon. I'm just gonna use it on my lower lash line so it's kind of just like reflecting the light and looks kind of white. If you use something like this on your waterline instead of black, black makes your eyes look more like sultry, like smaller, more like cat eye. But if you use something like this, it brightens up your eye and it makes it bigger. Sweet girls, vibe, big eyes. Your friends would describe you as loyal, funny, charismatic, kind, relaxed, logical. I would like to think kind. Loyal sounds uh, funny, I'm not really funny, charismatic. Mm -mm. I'm really shy. If you guys have met me, I'm kind of... Ugh. I wish I was better with people. My people skills need help. <laughs> Uh, relaxed, sometimes logical, sometimes so it seems just kind. Hopefully. Blending brush. I'm taking a nude, and it literally is called nudie. And all over my lips with this one. I'm not really bothered because I just kind of want to set whatever is on it already. And I'm going to take this color, it's like a peachy shimmer. And I'm actually just going to use a blending brush and go on my lips with it because I don't really want it to be like shimmer on my lids, I just want it to be kind of soft. This shade is called Honeymoon. And I'm going to take my bronzer. This is the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronze on my crease with the same brush, okay? Just to give my eyes a bit of definition. By the way, this is the palette I'm using from Too Faced. I'm taking a small brush, taking the same color, Honeymoon, and going on my lower lash line. Oh, something's in my eye. Just a bit of bronzing. Choose a place to hang out with your friends. I would say the arcade or my basement just because I like being at home. <laughs> Even if it's not my house, I like being at like indoors, away from home. Think this shade from NARS is orgasm or I may be wrong. It has a bit of shimmer. So I think it's very like nice and very radiant. It's gonna give your cheeks a bit of a like very like, juicy <laughs> with a fluffy brush on my cheeks. I'm gonna go a bit crazy because rosy cheeks equals sweet girl. Too much, too much. Take it back. Now I'm gonna do uh, highlight and I'm gonna use this one from Sunny's face. This one was from JD Spree. Uh, you guys can get sunny space from Jilly Spree. And this one is in the shade Hey Girl. Ooh. Lipstick I'm using is from Fenty Beauty. It's in the shade Unbutton. Okay, now I'm gonna set my face. And I'm gonna use my mascara. My trusty. So it would have to be the Their Real Mascara. I'm gonna coat the hell out of my lashes. Choose some 80s slang. This one would have to be wicked, like Ron Weasley when he was like, "Do you have the? Do you really have the?" And then when Harry's like, "Oh, do you mean the?" And then he's like, "Wicked, wicked." Also, if I put mascara on my lower lashes, I feel like it makes my eyes look bigger. So I'm definitely doing that as well. In a crisis, you would be calm, cautious, nervous, strategic, responsible, brave. I would be... I wouldn't be strategic. Strategic me. Responsible, I think, because I would be like, Oh my gosh, mama, daddy, I'll protect you. And then like, siblings, come here, come here. <laughs> I would just be like, I just need to protect my family. But also nervous. Just look at the difference. Finally, choose something important from the series. Of course, I'm gonna choose the Christmas lights. It's right here. All done! Okay, all done now. And the character I got was Mike! 
You're smart, optimistic, and open-minded. You're a leader, not a follower, and you make decisions with your heart. You're brave and trusting, and you'd do anything for the people you love. I guess they got the last part right, at least. So yes, this is my attempt at a sweet girl look. Wear a sweet little dress and you'll be good to go. And as mentioned, I have a giveaway for you guys. There will be four winners. Each winner will win a Stranger Things t-shirt from Netflix. All you have to do is just screenshot this video, any time of this video that you like or anything like that. Make sure your account is public so I can actually see your post. Post it on your Insta stories with the hashtag Stranger Things. Tag me as well as Netflix My on Instagram. Don't worry, everything will be in the description. So if you guys like miss any of this, just read the description. Comment below who your favorite character is from the show and also why. And the last step is to subscribe to my channel and that'll be it. Three steps, easy peasy. And then four winners will be chosen after the weekend on the 22nd of this month of July. So on the Monday after the Good Vibes weekend, then we'll announce the winner. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. Follow Netflix Malaysia on Instagram. They have all kinds of updates and stuff of like all the new shows that are coming and are in and stuff like that. So just in case you miss it, you guys at least can see it on Instagram and like know what to watch. And subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free. And I'll see you guys in the next one.